Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new LTDs and some next generation news for Madden 21. As you guys do know, Madden 21 does come out tomorrow, uh, the next gen ever, uh, edition on the Xbox. Of course, I will have videos on it tomorrow. But you guys do know, of course, when it comes to Madden Next Gen, it's going to be a different game. It's not going to be cross-compatible back to the old gen. So if you have friends that have, like, let's say four of your friends have the old one and two of your friends have the new one, you can only play with that other friend that has the new one with you. So just take that in mind. I have some Next Gen notes, some announcements, some stuff to go over for tomorrow's release, as well as the current LTDs. But before we get into the video, guys, first I want to give a shout-out to the Poodle Squad. Shout-out to you guys for being part of the Poodle Squad for each and every one of you that enter each day. But for today's, guys... I'm going to go with Reynaldo Gonzalez. Shout out to me after being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. Um, yeah, if you guys want a chance to shout it out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the content. Hopefully, I mean, Madden's been doing pretty good, right? Campus here with LTDs. And we still have the next gen drop tomorrow. So, either way, it's looking pretty good. Regardless of what we get content wise, so we will have a newer game. Hopefully, they change it a decent amount to where we get really excited about it. But Marquise Pouncey is our first LTD on the Steelers here, center for the Steelers. Now, he can be powered up, so that means he can get to a 94 overall. So let's start, let's, let's read the stats. Strength, 93 awareness, 89 pass block, 91 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 92 run block power, 90 run block finesse. So powered up and kept up, guys, he's going to hit every threshold if you do use like play fake or go deeper zone on him. He will hit every threshold if you use zone run. He's going to be a very, very um, improved uh, run blocker. Again, we don't know how thresholds work with that. You know, it could be more or less you know how that's you know how this game goes but gonna be a great center i don't even think he needs to really be powered up i mean you probably could just rock with the chem and get him up there regardless but powering up does definitely help it does get you a higher rating on your team as well as a 94 overall so it is what it is there if you guys want to go that route you can but he is a great center i just wish uh his pass blocking was bolt like base 90 everything instead of 88 and 89 kind of where they force you to try to power him up or put cams on him but either way great center probably has really good impact blocking as well so Overall, is a really good card. Uh, do I recommend picking him up? It depends on his price point. I mean, if he's like 300 to 400k, maybe. If he's anything higher than that, no. Uh, I think even then, that's still kind of expensive for a center. But again, they are important. I just don't know how they're that important to where they're worth that. Remains to be seen. But let's get to the next guy. We got Kareem Jackson, strong safety for the Denver Broncos. Let's check him out. Kareem Jackson. He's a zone archetype corner. Okay, so that's good. He's got 91 speed, 92 excel, 81 tackle, 93 play rec. 92 Pursuit, 88 Man, 93 Zone, 87 Hit Power. Overall, he can be powered up, guys, which does mean he will get to 99 Zone coverage. That already is a plus. He will get 92 Speed with 99, with 99 Zone with above 90 Man. So he's going to be one of the best safeties in the game. He will be a 94 overall as well. I really love the system, guys. In years past, these LTDs, Primetime Performers, whatever you guys would want to refer to them as, they always were cards that were like decent very expensive they were always too expensive and not great enough to justify the price this year they're making them weekly like one of the best cards in the game which is very great to see so he'll have 99 zone threshold which is great he'll have 90 99 play rec as well now that i realize it and he'll have 92 speed 93 excel and he'll have 88 hit power he's one of the best users although i wouldn't use him guys because no need let him rock with that zone that's, that's some people have to realize that like if you have a guy that good with zone and play rec just let him roam let him do his thing, let him go out, and let him attack the, let him attack the field the way he feels fit, and that should work just fine. But moving on from that, guys, that pretty much wraps up our LTDs. Let's start going over towards the um, the next-gen news, because, of course, we do have some of that. I'm going to explain some questions and kind of what I think. So remember, guys, the next-generation Madden does drop tomorrow at approximately, I don't know, an exact time. They didn't, like, you know, it should be maybe midnight, probably midnight, maybe the morning. You know how this stuff goes. Maybe a server crash will happen and kind of delay that, too. But moving on from that, guys, here we go. So, hey, Madden NFL fans, we're on the eve of the next generation Madden NFL with a worldwide launch of Madden on the Xbox X and PlayStation 5 on December 4th. Dual entitlement players will be able to access portions of the game as early as today, so we want to be sure you're aware of the latest status how to get your upgrade. The PlayStation 5 version of the game is not connected to the servers as we're doing final testing on a problem we've submitted. So, if you guys are on PlayStation, currently there is an issue, but hopefully that should be done by tomorrow. They said they already had they already had a solution and they're already working towards it. So, well, I'm leaning towards that they'll have it ready, but you never know with EA. It could be an issue that you know prolongs the next gen release of at least PlayStation. Hopefully not Xbox. That's what I reside on. How do I get it going? Madden NFL 21 can be downloaded on next gen consoles or players who purchase the game. So yeah, guys, make sure you are downloading. I see mine right now is downloading. It is on 
91% so far. So it's definitely getting there. It's just about done updating and updating it. So make sure you're done. Because the worst thing you want to do, guys, is not have it downloading. And then you end up waking up. You end up waking up tomorrow morning to go play, uh, you know, before work or, you know, before school or something. And you go and you don't have the game downloaded. You're 0% and now you got to wait and you, can't, you miss your time. So make sure you're getting it downloaded today. You can pre-download it. Uh, when you get home from work today, you get home from school, if you're already off right now, just set it to download. Let your Xbox run all day. Get that thing downloaded and you'll be good to go. Now, players can upgrade their games or the, uh, the copies of the game. So remember, if you do have a disc, it's going to be a little bit different. But the disc actually has something on it that does read Dual Entitlement. Now, I think there's going to be something here for what happens if you bought the discless Xbox. But we'll get into that in just a second. But moving on from that here. So yeah, if you do have a physical copy, you can put that into the Xbox X. If you guys do happen to have that on the PlayStation 5, if you have the disc one. Put that in, it will read it and automatically upgrade you to the new one. But if you have the digital, it's even easier. You just have two different options. Um, now, if you if you get upgraded to the discless one, guys, that is where there's going to be more of an issue. Because if you do upgrade to the discless next generation console, that does mean that you're going to have to contact EA Help and they'll validate your purchasing. So that's fine. At least they made an option for that, right? They could have just said, screw all people who bought discless consoles. Which, again, you saved 100 on the console and now you got to spend an additional 60 on Madden, right? So that, that definitely would have been horrible. But at least for the this sake... You can contact them, they will validate it, and they will get your purchase going through. So make sure you are taking advantage of that if that is the case. Uh, moving on, guys, so here you go. So Xbox disc to disc, you just insert the disc. X, uh, Series X version will be installed, the Series S version, then the PlayStation. Now, if you have Xbox digital, same thing. You'll have both, just like I have digital, so you have just both digital on your account. And again, if you have the discless version of the consoles, um, you're going to have to contact them and click the dual entitlement button. There's a whole web form, fill it out, and then they'll send you a code to redeem your digital copy. So that's actually really good as well. I do appreciate that I did implement that option this year. Again, not that it hasn't been an option in the past, but I remember back in the day when Madden 25 was a thing, you had to buy the game twice. All right, when that when the transfer over to the Xbox One. Again, we weren't that advanced yet. We weren't in that digital age like that just yet. But it is cool to see that they are giving this option. But guys, that pretty much wraps it up. We do have next gen uh, coming tomorrow. Hopefully it's hype. There's going to be the next gen tracking and movement. So the game's going to definitely feel different, at least from what I've seen and heard. It definitely feels different now. I can only imagine based on what, I, what I've read that it should be quite a bit different. Now, I'm hoping that they do change some MUD screens, maybe some, um, you know, animations. Maybe the game changes entirely. I remember Madden 25 went from a decent, like, a decent power game to, like, Madden 25 next gen came out and trucking was overpowered. You could just run people over there at Dickerson. So, I, I don't know. Like, things could change drastically the way that, with the way the game's played entirely, which definitely would change a lot of stuff. But, guys, it's better for that. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, it's about it. If you guys want a chance to shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Turn that notify bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And subscribe if you are new. Now, if you need coins for anything, guys, you want to pick up those LTDs, Pouncy or Kareem Jackson, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Take advantage. That's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.